All right, this is Lydia um, for clinical experience two lab um, practical final. This is the ECG video. Um, so I'm gonna try and demonstrate how one would do an ECG on this dog if we were to do so. Um, so first things first, before you do anything, um, any procedure or treatment, you're gonna wanna gather your supplies and make sure they're at the ready, um, you know, sometimes before you even bring the patient in the room. So um, what you're gonna need is a quiet, calm environment. Um, this is important for an ECG because any movement that your patient may um, exhibit or do during the ECG will alter results. So your patient must be still in order for an accurate reading to be done. So we have our quiet, calm environment and then you're gonna need your ECG reader, um, which is um, 50 millimeter per second or 25 millimeter per second paper speed and 10 um, mm-mv calibration um, that is the ECG reader um, information that you're gonna want to know um, and then you're gonna want three or four uh, wires which will um, read the ECG from your patient and that is black red white green um, we're using four wires in this Case, so we're using all um, four of those wires. And then you're gonna want conductive gel or isopropyl alcohol. Um, conductive gel would be the better of the two because um, with isopropyl alcohol and um, you know electric currents, you always worry about a possible or potential fire. So conductive gel would be better. Um, so you have your supplies um, and you know you always want to read your patient before doing anything you know make sure they're calm um, and as comfortable as possible especially for something like this where like I said before movement can really uh, mess things up so always maintain good communication with your restrainer and in this case I would definitely suggest to be um, as quiet and as calm with this communication as possible just so we maintain a quiet, calm environment. Um, so you're gonna wanna place your wires on the corresponding location. So like I said, we have a black, red, white, and green um, four wires. So black goes on the left front, um, red goes on the left hind, white goes on the right front, and green goes on the right hind. Um, and again, your patient needs to be still. So um, you wanna turn your ECG reader or machine on after you have applied your um, wires. Um, so back to applying them, um, all four of these wires have alligator clips on the ends. So attach each alligator clip to each wire um, in the correct location on the correct limb. So like I said, red, left hind, white, right front, green, um, right hind, and black, left front. Um, so for your front limbs, your alligator clip is going to be attached just distal to the elbow. And then um, your hind limbs, your alligator clip is gonna be distal to the stifle. So I'm sorry, did I not show? So uh, distal to the elbow and distal to the stifle, that's where you're gonna attach your clips. Um, you're gonna to wanna to put your conductive gel on after that, you don't need a whole lot. Um, little goes a long way with that stuff. And you do this to um, increase the conduction. So um, once your EC, so you know, your wires are placed, your ECG reader is on, and you want it to be going for you know 30 to 60 seconds um, to get a good reading. So once you've done that, you can unclip your alligator clips um, from your patient and you wanna clean up your conduction sites um, if they're wet or sticky. You know, you don't really want your patient licking that off per se. Um, but something good to mention is that um, you don't wanna consider sedation for these types of um, situations because sedation could really alter your results. You know, you're trying to get a reading of the heart and if you give sedation that alters um, heart rhythm or you know, making a patient tachycardic or bradycardic, that would obviously alter your results. Um, so yeah, this is an ECG.